news about the actress relationship with Loki has been making rounds online. Nigerian actress evangelist Yukaria Angnobi has broken the silence following accusation that she's secretly dating 27-year-old actor Loki Opara. The report has been making rounds online after an alleged sweet WhatsApp note penned by Eukarya to him on his birthday surfaced. And it reads, Happy birthday, my love. I hope you have a wonderful birthday today. You have made my life interesting and special. Thank you for being in my life. I love you always, my love. Your birthday card is below and your gift is in your bank. Love you, Lucky, you care reportedly wrote. Kemi Filani News claimed they reached out to the actress for her to clear the air on the viral report. However, she didn't admit and neither did she debunk the claim. Praise the Lord. My names are Apostle Dr. Eukarya Amenobi. I want to respond to all the stories that have been flying on the various social media platforms about Mr. Lucky Opera and myself. Wonders shall never end. And from all indications, woe never end. I want to say to all my family, loved ones, friends, fans, ministerial associates, the body of Christ, followers all around the world, that these are fabrications and misleading lies from the pit of hell. It is even laughable more so how some people in their distorted mind unfortunately have given out an age that is not mine some say i'm 56 some say i'm 57 maybe some people will also come out and say i'm 120. well i will surely get to those ages and even surpass them and live in good health and prosperity it's so laughable that some people sit down and cook up and publish unverified stories. True, Mr. Lucky Opera is known to me. He is, I state categorically, my movie industry mentee. We met on the set of a movie production where I played the role of a mother to him and um, he got enamored, so enamored with my acting prowess that he then continued to seek my mentorship and coaching. That he would want someone to guide him and to always correct him. And surely I took on the responsibility. And I have been doing that. You all know what happens when you're in a movie production. And even for those outside, what people do with their phones these days. And a lot of people always make videos, take pictures of themselves, friends, family, loved ones, important people, famous people, all the time with their devices. And um, they all post them. I myself is no exception on their social media platforms as content and in the course of while we were working lucky took pictures with me made some short videos of me which obviously he posted on his social media platforms and which is what the enemies enemies of themselves not me gathered together and put up as evidences to substantiate their false stories. You all can bear witness that since the inception of social media, everyone is videoing whatever and anything that they see to post on their platforms as content. Are we now saying that people should not allow 
persons who admire them, admire their works, admire their persons, not to video them, not to take pictures with them, you begin to wonder at the mindset of these mischief makers. You begin to wonder, are they blind to the new system? Are they blind to the new normal of creating content on social media? That being said, I want to state categorically, without fear or favor, that I am not in any romantic relationship with Mr. Lucky Opera. Neither is there any wedding undergoing planning. And it is an insult upon the unction of God on my life by these mischief makers, these demons from the pit of hell, these people that lack joy, to say that I am pregnant before marriage as an apostle, everyone who listen to me and who know about my ministry know that I vehemently preach against such. And I always go on to ensure that I add my quota in the lives of anyone that comes in contact with me. I encourage them to live right. And that is the bane of my ministry. And unfortunately, no one can change that. So everything you have read or heard about Lucky and I are all fabrications from the pit of hell, fabrications and misleading lies from enemies of the gospel of truth, the gospel of Jesus, out to tarnish my good public image. Unfortunately for them, what they had planned for evil has turned out for good. Yes, what they plotted for evil, what they planned for evil had become a blessing in disguise. And um, have made me even more popular than I have been both globally and of course locally and uh, a bigger threat to the kingdom of the devil and listen this short period I've received a thousand calls from so many people all around the world international bodies foreign friends people living abroad you know fathers of faith mothers of faith loving colleagues who have called to check on me friends and strangers who have called me stop by ask who stopped even see me on the road in traffic asking my goodness what's going on are you okay why didn't you invite us for the wedding so you see the devil will always be a loser and so are his cohorts so to you cohorts of the devil perpetrators of evil I thank you so very much you have helped to announce me even much more locally and globally and the name of Apostle Dr. Yukere Anganobi will continually ring a bell, even to the death, and will cause the kingdom of darkness to continually shake and quick with fear when they hear my name. I thank you so very much. To the proprietors of this whole saga that started posting that I sent Mr. Lucky Opera a love message and gave him money on his birthday, a story that you cannot defend in the love court. I have this to say to you all. I need you mischief makers, haters, sons and daughters of the devil to understand one thing. As long as you are not the one that put the unction upon me, neither are you the one that called me into ministry. You cannot destroy the unction of God upon my life, neither can you destroy the ministry in my hands. Hating my glory, hating my being chosen by God, is like someone drinking poison and expecting the person that they hate to die. Because what you hate cannot help you. And your hating only hinders you. Mischief makers will have God Almighty to contend with. Because the law of sowing and reaping 
will not change as long as the earth remains. One thing is sure, karma is no respecter of any one. With that, I say thanks to all of you, my friends, family, loved ones, fathers of faith, everyone who have shown me an overwhelming outpouring of love all this while. I say thank you. God will fight for you. Remain blessed and stay in the will of God. If you enjoyed this video, smash the bell button, subscribe, and drop your comments. Thank you. Thank you.